All right, Hello everybody, welcome back to another Kevin Dunn Talks. Today we're here to talk about Diamond Store. Diamond Store is the next level jewelry store, I guess. I don't really, I don't really know what to call it. So the assets that you will get in this heist is body bags and expert driver. Got my stuff, so let's go in game. All right, get ready. I turned off subtitles for a reason. I'm gonna have to turn those back on. Because subtitles are the best. The best. Uh, there we go. Get into the store. Watch the civilians. Watch the cameras and get it done. Mm -hmm. All right. So I learned that I'm gonna actually switch to our F's. Uh, FOV to super large because I I oh don't know, that's just me. Man, look at this. They made this wide open. And you can only walk about to here yeah, to here in this area. So any any secrets that we should hey look that's interesting, they have our van here. Yep, they got the SWAT van here. Long way here. Uh, I saw a helicopter. That's when I saw a helicopter. Anyways, oh, oh, it's this thing. Okay. Anyways, we're here to talk about Diamond Store. Funny enough, this looks like the same park, only a bit smaller. Anyway, so Diamond Store. Slow down the speed here. So Diamond Store is basically a next level jewelry store. Now, we're going to go into the stealth, and then we're going to go into the loud. So for stealth, I usually recommend going back down into this alleyway. Now, when you go back down to this alleyway, there will be a security door to your right, sometimes. If the security door is not in there, and the security and the only way to get to the security door is from here, which is really difficult when you don't have this door. Once you do that, you open the door, shoot this guy, and sometimes there's a safe in here, and sometimes there's a little card thing here. We'll get to the reasoning for this card later. So once you take out that guy, all these cameras are down. Now you're probably saying to yourself, "Well, why don't you just go into the front and start shooting glass?" Hmm. The reason why it's one of the step ups to jewelry store is that glass actually matters in this jewelry store. If you shoot any of these glass here, shoot any of them, boom, instantly goes loud. That's why the little key thing in here, there's a reasoning for this. It's because you want to put the key thing into there. Now I don't know why there's an elevator. That's odd. Why would, why is there an Actually, I never noticed that. Why is there an elevator in, uh, in Joey or in, uh, hmm. Never, never really questioned that until now. Um, anyways, so once you've taken care of the ga camera guy, I usually go back here. Now, civilians will roam down these, uh, little alleyways, so make sure you are wary of that. And then you have the Starbucks here, which... I don't know who the heck is running this Starbucks. Like, there's no. Like, they didn't really put it time into figuring out how to implement a Starbucks. Because, look, it's completely empty. And, like, there's the van over here, too. What is going on? What is going on? What is going on? This van is actually to go back to this alleyway, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so, the van can spawn here. Um can spawn over there and it can spawn right over here if I remember correctly if I shimmy my way yep right over there so those are the, all the van uh, spawns uh, look at that beautiful game design right here beautiful beautiful game design just beautiful there's no way to enter this building <laughs> unless these are like 
open, like, doors that can open. Otherwise, there's no way to open these doors. And anyway, so be wary of these people back here. Now, you go up here, open the door here. Now, cops, or not cops, uh, security guards can walk down this hallway, so keep wary. There are cameras, and sometimes there is a camera that can spawn right here, right? You can look down this hallway, all through this, well, actually, you can look up to right about here. So there's the camera there. This is your manager lady. This manager sometimes has the key card. Sometimes. Some times. The key card. So you want to get her down when she's like up here. Also, the uh, little card reader can spawn like over here too. Keep that in mind. So once you go down in this hallway, I'm pretty sure the card reader is never around here, so you don't need to worry about this room. Safe can spawn in here, but it's safe. Next, we go in here. Camera, camera, is, camera is right there. It can spawn on the wall here, too, and sometimes the key card can spawn in that little case right there. Now, we head out into here. There are four guards in this entire map. Or, well, actually, there's three guards. This is actually normal, so there's actually a total of four guards that can spawn throughout this map. Uh, three roaming and one security guard. Or not one security guard, one uh, camera guy. So keep that in mind when you're doing stealth. Fun fact, up here. When you're going up here, this is actually pretty useless, but this little air vent here actually will cut through here. And you can throw bags down into here to this guy. This acts as, I don't, I actually really don't know what the purpose of this is. It really does not serve any purpose. And there's always going to be a safe that spawns right here. And this dude is always here. So keep that in mind. Now, so, gosh darn it, Ness, what do you, Ness, I'm not doing go bank. We're not, we're not doing go bank, okay? Go bank is on the reserved list for now. Or on the list where it's, it's waiting, basically. Anyway, so, yeah. Here's the little safe there. Random loot can pop in there, but you normally want to get the money bag because it's actually, it acts as a loot bag and everything. And there's two ATMs on this entire map. There's one here, and then there's one all the way over here. And there you go. Usually the way to do this stealth is if you have a team, just make sure that you get everybody down in this entire building. Make sure that you set them up either up there, which is not ideal because then people can see them walking up the stairs, or you can set them behind here, set them down there, and then you're good to go. People will roam outside here, they can hear the glass, so make sure that when people are roaming around, that you get those people down. That's, that's my motto. Now... So once you're doing all of that, I recommend moving the bags either out to the front in a way, making sure that you check your roads. It's like it's like with cars, you know. Check left and you check right to see if there's any cars there. You check left again. Is it right, left, and then right? I think that's the way. I don't know. I usually just check twice on each side to make sure. But uh, then you just go out in the street, throw the bags in, you come back, and there you go. Now, make sure that you have someone drilling the safe. Reason being is because then that can give you extra loot, and it's worth getting, to be honest, sometimes. And then you have the ATMs out here, which this guy you will always have to get down. I'm pretty sure there's no way to really hide from him. Yeah, there's no really no real way to hide from this guy, so you might have to either kill him or uh, tie him down. Um, you don't need to worry about this back part here. Because unless if one of the people, right, and this is a rare chance, if one of the people sees you on the stairs here and caught, or uh, sees you and they caught you, or, yeah, you get caught, um, then you're going to have to take down these people down here. Which, that's going to be a pain because then people will come by here and then be like, oh my god, people down, oh my god, shake a cam. So, yeah. And normally you just want to come in, you want to go into this room here and then just take this guy down and then just drill in and grab the little cash register here. And there's our cash registers in this room over here. There is one here, here, and here, and here. So keep that in mind. Well, that's about it. Also, the manager label will apparently stand outside, so there you go. 
So that's the ideal way to do it with stealth. Now for loud. Fun fact, I do not play Diamond Store either. Diamond Store and Rats and Cook-Off are one of my least favorite heists. Reason being that Diamond Store is one of my least favorite heists is it has the most backtracking I have I have seen in a normal heist. Ugh. What do I mean by that? Well, Diamond Store has so many bags. Like, look at this. There's a jewelry bag. There's a jewelry bag. And there's a jewelry bag. There's a there's a jewelry bag. Like, there's a bunch of jewelry bags, right? And I'm pretty sure they increase uh, depending on the difficulty. With all these jewelry bags, going into the front is the worst plan. It is seemingly the hardest thing to do is to do it in the front. Because if the van's over here... SWAT van turret can be up here and even can be like right here is a perfect spot because it cuts you off this way and it can shoot you down there. So going in the front is one of the worst things about this heist. Now if you're you are one of the lucky people to get the van back here you are safe pretty much because the only thing you need to worry about are cops coming through here down to this alleyway here down here sometimes and up here which if you're smart then you will grab all the bags throw them up to here and some in the back now the reason why the back is a good idea is because cops usually come through here all through the street here come through there uh, through there you know all, all these places right but it has the most cover too sometimes down here you're completely exposed like through there and through there so that's why you want to Set up some cover areas, kind of. So, and going out to here is not, it, it, this is like the second best spot. That is the worst spot to have, right over there. And if there's even a spot over here, then that's just awful. Like, no matter what area, the front is always going to be the worst. The back is the best spot for moving bags. I recommend any spot that you're doing. If it's in the back, then you might want to go this route where you have the door opened or you want to keep this door closed. That way you have a room where you can take cover, heal up, patch up, and there you go, and then move back out and get ready into the or get back into the fight. But the th problem with having this area here, and it's Oh, Shield Plaza. I thought that said pizza. Alright. The problem with this spot is because you're going to have to move the bags up to here, which is not bad, but you have to throw them out here, into the water, whatever area this is, and then that risks you getting exposed to the cops, and then starts getting into a huge shootout, and you're dead, right? Best place to put the bags are, like, right here next to the corner, or somewhere to make sure that you're actually secured with the bags, and they can't be tampered with. Now, there's a cloaker spawn here. Cloakers can spawn here and here, so make sure that you look out for cloaker spawns. Cloakers are the worst. Actually, hold on. Yeah, spawn there. Too fast of a camera, Jesus. And there. They can't actually spawn in here, funny enough. Can they spawn in this room, actually? No, they can't even spawn in this room. Okay, so it's only, like, up there. Huh. Oh. Alright. So, when you're out here, it's not the worst because, I mean, it's more secure than the front. The thing about the front is if you're going to be boomy, moving bags to the front, here, watch this. Hey, look, I'm in, oh my god, I'm getting shot up, I'm dead. That's basically how that works. Because a SWAT van will be here, tons of cops will be in the front to just shoot you down here. That's why... I recommend that you at least have two people here if you are going to do this route. Two people here shooting as much as they can while the other people are moving up to here and then moving the bags into here. Probably. This way that you have a shorter time distance to the van t to there. And plus you have a bit more cover with this here and I know that's saying a lot because I mean look at this it's jewelry store we like you can co take cover from here but it's way better for you to take cover from like say here to here because you can set up two guys here uh, one guy here and then say one guy over here now if you're doing it this route and the van is right over there 
you probably want two people to be si si situated in this area here. And you, and you at least want two people moving together. That way, if a cloaker gets one of them down, the other person can shoot him and get that person back up, while the other person, say if they're out in the middle of the street, and it's, you know, getting pretty chaotic, the other two guys, or one guy, can cover this area so to make sure that the other teammate is reviving his player that got down. So, I recommend going through here, through this, and then go through here, and then make your way over to here, and then this entire route, you're good. You just walk across here, get to the van, and boom, there you go. Which I think this van actually spawns here, but you know what, just get to the van. And then when you're done, the two other teammates are going to have to run towards you, so you two cover your other two teammates. And there you go. That's pretty much how to do it loud and stealth. Um, stealth, I recommend bringing four ECMs and body bags. Four ECMs and body bags all around. That's how I recommend this, because if you are killing people, then you might as well body bag them up. For loud, I would recommend because a sniper can actually spawn right up here. A sniper can spawn right up here. Uh, I'm not entirely sure where the other sniper spawns, but I know for a fact there there is one right here. So what I recommend is maybe grab one shotgun or with a pistol, uh, maybe um, two assault rifles and pistols, um, and a sniper with an SMG is probably the ideal build. Uh, for a team setup in a way, I guess. That's about it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, this little video of how to do Diamond Store, uh, Loud and Stealth. Um, I always set these to normal just because I do it so it's like easier. I, I don't know. I don't know. There's I, It costs less money in my offshore, basically. But yeah, it's just, you know, it's nice. Anyways, let me take a drink before we go. Huh. messages beautiful anyways that's about it hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you did check out some videos on the channel and check out the plan series this is part of the series called the plan where we talk about beta 2 strategies for the heist so far and i don't know we might be going into some other type things in the future like how to like i don't know do certain tactics or something i don't know um but that's about it so hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, see you in the next video, and as anyways, stay safe and have fun. Oh, by the way, I just want to let you know that um, I want you to just want you to read this for a second before we go. Before we go, this is a huge reveal, right? Huge reveal. This is it, it's so amazing that it's gonna take me years to show you, right? It's just it's worth looking at, right? You ready for this? You ready for this? You ready for this? Look at that tag. Look at that tag. Look at that tag.